I'm Josh Benson. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us this evening. Neighborhood leaders contacted Eight on Your Side asking for help after a crowd grew too large at a South Tampa restaurant last night. So we took their concerns right to the city. Eight on Your Side's Jeff Patterson joins us now live from South Howard Avenue. This was quite a scene yesterday. Good evening, Jen. It certainly was. It was a beautiful evening. It was Cinco de Mayo. People had cabin fever. And so they came here to the Green Lemon. As the crowd grew outside of the Green Lemon on South Howard Avenue, management became concerned because people weren't socially distancing. They called Tampa police for help. Police and code enforcement showed up to disperse the crowd. They should have had police out there. Annalise Meyer is the Parkland Estates Neighborhood Association liaison to the city and says police should have been on South Howard from the start. The neighborhoods are concerned because they don't want South Howard Avenue closed down, like 7th Avenue in Ybor or South Dakota Avenue in Hyde Park. So, eight on your side took their concern to the city. So, right now, after talking to some of the businesses down there that in that zone where the closure would have been, there's no plan to close Howard Avenue now. Assistant Police Chief Butch Delgado says police are working to educate all restaurant owners about the new rules moving forward. Uh, we kind of want to make this work for both sides. The new rules are already being put into place right now at the meat market in Hyde Park. While we were there, they had out a tape measure to put chairs six feet apart. And the owner says they're taking a number of steps to keep everyone safe. Uh, any staff that comes in, we check them. We ask them the questions of how they're feeling, if they've been sick, if they've been traveling in the last two weeks. At the meat market there in Hyde Park Village, they'll also be taking the temperature of guests before they are seated, and they've hired additional staff to do continuous cleaning throughout the evening, and they have a whole list of restrictions for guests upon entering, so hopefully this will work for all of us, Jen. Well, I'm curious, what happens if a business owner simply doesn't comply? Well, eight on your side took that question directly to Assistant Chief Delgado, asked him about it. He says so far everyone is kind of self enforcing, but if they don't, they could be closed down. Jeff Patterson, live for us in Tampa. Thank you.